Hi, my name is Jen. I've lived with type 1 diabetes for almost 30 years and for the last one of those years I have been using what's known as a hybrid closed loop system, also known as an automated insulin delivery system, to manage my type 1 diabetes. And there's a lot of hype out there about these things, there's a lot of noise, but the language, all this diabetes technology, all this terminology, it can be quite intimidating if you are new to this insulin pump world and you're using injections or you've just been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes so I thought I'd stand up I was gonna say sit down but clearly I'm standing I'd stand up today and talk a little bit about what a hybrid closed loop system is but more importantly the impact it's had on my life as a person living with type 1 diabetes before we get into it I just want to say a big thank you to Dexcom for sponsoring today's video I've been using their continuous glucose monitors for years and the Dexcom G6 actually makes up a part of my hybrid closed loop system Obviously you can get out there and Google what a hybrid closed loop system is. Maybe you're looking at a particular type or brand of hybrid closed loop system. That information is out there for you. But what I think is much harder to find is how this technology and these tools for diabetes management actually make a difference to our lives, how they make us feel and what they enable us to do or not do. Um, and that is the stuff for me that I think these tools and this technology should be working towards because I just want to be out here living my life and type 1 diabetes takes up a lot of my headspace, it makes a lot of noise in my life. I will touch on the functionality and the tech side of things in just a little bit but type 1 diabetes expert, medical professional, engineer, software developer, researcher, I am not so do get out there and do your research and as with anything related to type 1 diabetes this is all personal preference so you do you whether it's injections insulin pumps hybrid closed loops any of it all of it I do just hope that me talking a little bit about my experience and where I've been on this whole wild ride over all these years might be useful to you enter the hybrid closed loop too long don't read I'm gonna give away the punchline but my goodness me this thing I feel like I can breathe with this thing. So first and foremost, my timing range is better, but I feel like I am making so, 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 so many less diabetes decisions in my day to day to achieve that level of timing range. So I'm sleeping better, which means I'm less exhausted all the time. I just feel less hypervigilant. I'm not on high alert as much. I do not say this lightly, and it's not to say I'm not making decisions. It's not to say, I'm not working really hard with this tool, but what it's requiring of me versus the outcomes I'm getting has been really quite something. And after 29 years of living with type 1 diabetes, taking the pressure off and like realizing how much work I was doing previously to try and achieve those kinds of results, that's actually been very confronting because I'm seeing this machine do a lot of that work that I've been doing for so long. No wonder I've been so tired. So this system right here that I'm using, this is the Omnipod 5. So that's basically the Omnipod insulin pump, which is a tubeless patch pump. And it works with alongside in communication with a continuous glucose monitor, which in my case is the Dexcom G6. There she is. <laughs> So they work together to make up what's known as an automated insulin delivery system or hybrid closed loop system. It's sometimes called an artificial pancreas. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I don't think it's a particularly accurate phrase because it gives the impression that we are now hands off and this is all taken care of by this machine. That's not the case in my experience. What I know to be true is that these tools will only work if you're working with them in a lovely little partnership. That being said, once you get this thing set up and all of your settings are configured to your unique individual needs, very important point, this thing for me has been amazing at automating some of my insulin delivery. So the hybrid closed loop system automates my basal delivery, which if you live with type 1 diabetes, you'll understand is a huge part of your total insulin delivery. So that means that I have to generally think about type 1 diabetes a whole lot less, which leaves me a lot more room to think about fun things, life things, all the things outside of type 1 diabetes a whole lot more. And on top of that, my time in range is better, all of the health outcomes that we're aiming for when we live with type 1 diabetes, they've all been a lot better than any other type of diabetes management that I've used before. So I was on injections, multiple daily injections for around 18 to 20 years and then I was on an insulin pump for nearly 10 years 
that wasn't automated, so a regular insulin pump. And they were both fine, they did their thing, I dealt with it and handled it and utilised it and managed it in the best way that I knew. I only knew what I knew and I guess that was my normal and I did the best that I could. But for me, this is a whole new level unlocked. It's like I've gone and got myself a diabetes assistant and they're up here, the bajillion diabetes tabs that I've got open in my brain at any one time, thinking about what I've eaten, my carbohydrate count, my current glucose level and where that's headed and what I'm about to do later and what I'm going to eat later and whether I'm going to the gym and whether I'm a little bit stressed about that meeting and whether I've slept enough and how that's impacting my glucose levels. All of that noise is just kind of being dialed down because the assistant is up in there decluttering, taking care of the admin, taking care of some of the business. Now, really important to clarify that I'm still counting my carbohydrates, I'm still delivering my bolus doses around food, I'm still having to check for correction doses and I'm still taking action on those correction doses. So I'm still very much at play here, I'm still in the game, I'm still very much doing a lot of the work. But how this system works is every five minutes the system takes a reading, a glucose reading from my Dexcom and then makes a decision about my basal insulin delivery based on that current reading and where it predicts my glucose level is going to be in an hour as well as my target glucose level which I have set. That predictive glucose thing still blows my mind but essentially that means that the Omnipod, the insulin pump and the Dexcom, the continuous glucose monitor, are in communication all the time, all day and all night to just take those edges, the sharp edges off of the glucose roller coaster that I know you have all experienced. And that still happens, but on a day-to-day -day basis, those sharp edges, this has become much more like this because every five minutes, it's taking that reading from my glucose monitor looking at that glucose reading, thinking, okay, what's her target glucose level and where do we predict that her glucose reading is going to be in an hour? And from that information, it's deciding whether to give me a little bit of basal insulin, whether to reduce my basal insulin from the last dose or whether to keep it the same. And that is how the automated insulin delivery, the hybrid closed loop part of the system works. Now, I'm not 100% in range all the time by any means. But one thing I do want to talk about in relation to the hybrid closed loop system is the sleep. My God, the sleep. Now for me, sleep is absolutely foundational to health, to well-being, to the person I can show up as in the world, in my relationships, at work, etc. I used to get very anxious if I didn't get my eight hours sleep and I couldn't understand why everyone else seemed to be able to function fine on six hours, five and a half hours, seven hours. And I just couldn't be myself, like I couldn't be productive, I couldn't show up as the person I wanted to be. And I think this is twofold, what the hybrid closed loop has given me. First of all, I'm not getting as many alarms in the night, so I'm not being woken up as much. But secondly, the depth of that sleep, because I've relaxed, because I'm less hypervigilant, because I'm less like on my diabetes all the time, trying to make sure like I've got the next decision in hand or I'm thinking three steps ahead, the depth and the quality of my sleep has been so, so, so much better. And I think it's like, I've just slowly started to decompress. It just means when I wake up in the morning, like I'm still waking up, not every night, I still get some alarms, but some mornings when I wake up and I realize I haven't had any alarms overnight and I've slept through, I can't believe it because that would be the exception and not the norm. And obviously before we had glucose alarms and CGMs and things, I would just be out of range overnight and, and not know. So the payoff there in all senses is, is incredible. And I'm so grateful that this technology exists because what that means is I can go out into the world of a morning and not feel like I'm already 5,000 steps behind everyone else. I'm not dragging myself up and out and thinking, oh my God, here we go again anyway, because I have to show up regardless to work. I have to show up regardless to all my commitments and my life and, and I want to be in the world doing my life. So yeah, that's one thing that I think has had a massive significant impact on me thanks to the hybrid closed loop system. And then as I've already alluded to, the mental load, the kind of grip that I felt like I needed to have on my type one diabetes to 
stay in range as much as possible so that it could be a version of me that was healthy and out there living my life. I've just been able to relinquish some of that control and I know the system is taking care of certain aspects of my diabetes, my basal delivery, and I still have to work with it. As I've said, this is not a magic cure, this is not a magic bullet, it is not the be all and end all to type 1 diabetes solutions, but it for me has been such a positive shift in my tools and the management and the outcomes that it's had on the person that I am able to be this version of me that actually I'm not sure I knew existed because as I said your norm is your norm your reality is your reality and being able to be this person in the world who feels healthy and my brain isn't wearing all the time trying to keep up with the demands and the decision making of type 1 diabetes that that is hard to put into words for sure um, and that is why I wanted to make this video today because that is the information that you don't get and I'm not saying it's perfect I'm not saying it's for everyone I want other people to know that this is potentially possible for them because I didn't want to entertain the idea of an insulin pump for many, many years for so many different reasons and I get it and that was huge for me, like going onto an insulin pump for the first time, wearing diabetes technology for the first time was a massive deal. So I just want to kind of reiterate from a very realistic perspective and a lived experience lens that this is how this has impacted my life. Whew. Okay. That'll do. If you've got any questions about the hybrid closed loop system, do send them my way. I will do my best to answer. And if I don't know the answer, I will try and find someone who does. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful.